Pod, baby. Pod, the pod. We're back Welcome again. Back. Thanks for being here with us. Yes. We're, we're hanging out podcast. today we're around the table. Out. We're hanging out today. Guys, we're going old school. We're going old school today. We're going old school today. We got no guests. Oh, no. No, no it's just, just going to be Just us. you two. Nobody wanted yeah. to hang out with us. Nobody wanted to hang out with us. Can you believe this? Or did yeah. we not want to hang out with anyone else? Yeah. Uh, mm. Maybe that's just keep that between us. No, you know what we wanted to do? What did we want to do? We wanted to hang out with the fans today. Wait a minute. That's what we wanted. Is to this do. fan appreciation? Fan day? appreciation. It fan sure is. Appreci- if we had a like a like a little jingle, I would I would cue it right now. We should have a cue button. We should. We this is for button. our fans. The fans that love us so. The fans that we love too. We got to come up with yeah, something terrible. That's oh, terrible. Oh, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna thank them oh, for yeah. watching the show. Well, no, it's just we. Yeah, it it really. You from love the bottom us, of and my we heart, love you. <laughs> oh, <laughs> from the bottom of my heart, this is Joe. I'm kidding. You know, oh, I can't. My oh boy, boy. Really... sorry. Maybe we so, should. Oh, a needle pulling oh, thread. No. <laughs> Maybe we should call Wait a, a guest. That sound of music. That's not an original. Should we song. call a guest? Yeah. No. Get me somebody and get us somebody while we're waiting. <laughs> I just have to say, I'm feeling very cozy today. I know. Look at this. Uh, for all of you listening, if you want to switch over to the YouTube channel and uh, and 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 and. Witness something uh, visually here. You'll be able to see this tremendous. Where did you get? What that would you sweater? call that shirt? Is that a shirt? Is that a blanket? No, no it's oh, it's, a, it's like a sweater blanket. It's a sweater blanket. It's a, it's a little chilly. You heard it here hmm. first. Andy is wearing a sweater blanket. Yep, <laughs> and it's very bright. It'll be part of our Yellow, merchandise here exclusively pink, on the Blue and Orange Brother Love Pod. Uh, get your Pastelli though. Get your Pastel Pod to Pod t shirts and your sweater blankets. Wow. Hey, I like it. Ah, it's... you know, people have been talking about this Pod to Pod thing. What's the Pod D A Pod? Pod-to-pod. I mean, you guys Pod-to-pod. say it enough. Pod to Pod. We wanted to talk today about just all the positivity that we've been feeling and that has been around this show since we've started. You do something like this, and obviously we talk about all the time how, you know, we've been, we worked together on and off for years, but we never did anything like this. You know, we, we, we never like sort of like, you know. Put a mic on us when we're having our private brother conversation. Yes, yes. And also like pulled never done back, pulled back the script, pulled back all the lights, pulled back everything. And just like, this is well, how. we do have some lights. We have some lights. Well, we need them because, you know, God knows how we look without lights. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> uh, for the people that are watching, they're like, oh yeah, man, you guys are getting old. You guys don't look like you used to. I will say uh, I wasn't I wasn't thinking about all these lights when I put on the sweater blanket. I'm starting to get a little <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, then, I am actually. I we there's a, a hue, cave there's again. a pastel a little, hue over everything now. It's a little warm in here. <laughs> oh, he's actually yeah. yeah. yeah, he's just dripping. He's wearing full <laughs> sherpa. No, but I you know, it's it's like so you do something like this and honestly even after all these years like you feel a little vulnerable because you're going like, well, let's just put it this way. We had this? no idea what was going to happen. I, really, truly, we had no idea what we were doing, and we thought, <laughs> we thought, we honestly thought that we we were hoping that you know we'd have this slow build and we'd at least show people out there that we were committed and yeah. we were going to be here every Friday, no That's matter right. what, no matter what, whether they like us or hate us. Well, no, we were just gonna we were gonna, we're gonna we're in it for the long haul. Well, absolutely. But what's been really, really humbling is the response. Yeah, it's been great. You guys are are. Tuning in and listening every week. This is a huge win and victory for us. We didn't know if that was going to happen. We we didn't know. And well, we hoped. We, we, we hoped. hoped and we prayed. But you prayed. have no way to know. I love that they're calling this, and, and I've heard this in, in several publications. I've read this. It's and, and 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 a lot of the people in the reviews and stuff said, you know, it's it's the show about nothing. Well, that's because you say nothing. that, Joe. No. You were no, the one that I wrote these up, stories. Stop it. You, How dare you. you put in the plug. How dare you? Yeah, no, true. I didn't. There's no plug. People that's been, what you wanted. They've been saying oh, this plot about nothing. No. Really great. Said, they've been coined this really great phrase that I slipped into the conversation. That's true. You guys are such jerks. Listen. That I whispered into their ear Stop before it. the publication came out. I love you out. to death, but you're jerks. You know that Listen. little show called Seinfeld? Now, wait. Hold on a minute. Now, <laughs> oh, God. You're, now you're on to something, God. baby. But that's I'm like thinking, everybody's go-to. I know. Like, we need a sitcom about nothing because it no. works for Seinfeld. No, no. It's the but podcast about nothing. That's just like the easiest, um, that's no, like an easy but, thing to but, say. Because it's no, not about but, nothing. No, I don't even people, like that catchphrase. What people have said, I don't know. You know, we should I'm I don't even like it. I petition, we're the podcast about everything. Mm. That's what it is, and I was. You took the okay. You read my. Text. With a podcast about everything I that solves nothing. Yes, with a podcast about everything that solves nothing. <laughs> we digress. No, but I think that we were always saying, like you know, in in. Well, you in, were always saying we. 
collectively. And then I improved on it. Oh, yeah, by saying that we're the podcast about everything. No, yeah. no, he went to the pod to pod. The pod to pod. That's how he improved. Well, I got to be honest with you. Generationally, that's the thing, right? We just shorten everything now. It's true. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So we got to look to Andy for anything we want to name. Oh, gosh. Including that's my what, unborn children. That's what's... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I will name you pod, and I will name you duh, and I will name you pod. What? <laughs> two pods, but this one we spell with two Ds. Oh, my God. Andy, trust me, Matt. I know things. Can you imagine me trying to explain the future yeah. mother of my children while they're named Pod a Pod or Pod Pod Duh. Pod Duh. Pod this one's pod. Duh. You need three. D-A. You need three children. Yeah. You need Pod Duh Pod. <laughs> but with two Ds. Hopefully, Pod Wonderful. and Pod aren't twins. <laughs> oh. <laughs> right. Pod Duh, and this is Pod. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> uh, no, but it's, it, it is really, like you said, Matt, it's been so cool to see kind of just the people just like it. You know, I mean, it feels really cool to kind of put yourself out there and they love me. N- they no, really no. Wait, was love that Sally Field? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, no, she won the Academy won the Award, Oscar, I think, right? She was like, things. You love me. You really, really love me. Oh. Yeah. And I, all I can see though is Jim Carrey doing that impersonation. Well, you course. love me. You really <laughs> love me. <laughs> love me. Yeah, it's so good. Uh, uh, good one. I, I mean, so it's funny. It was a moment in time. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, you can't get even get away with that kind of humor anymore. No, like, no, no. But it, it is. It was such a moment. Yeah. Whew. Wow. Yeah. I mean, even just saying that. Even actually the actual statement. I mean, I, oh, that Sally moment. Sally actually yeah. saying that. Like, yeah. you love me. But being genuine. I know. How could, honestly, like... And I, I mean, it was a moment for her, so God bless her and everything. But like, how could you actually say that in a moment? I know, it's kind of funny. You love me. Everybody out here, loving this guy. <laughs> I mean, I mean, that well, is like, it was a, a big like, moment of I know, but self-validation honestly, if I'm for sitting her. in the audience at that point, I think I go like this. I go, yeah, you did. Let's take it back. Let's take that back. That's what I would do. I well, you, know what, you know what it is? I would take I don't it back. I would take it back. Rewind I'd be it. like, let's just take that out. <laughs> You know, right what, now, you know, know what it is. We're going to give it to the next one. <laughs> it's, a little ups- it's a little upsetting in the Who's end of the day. Who's number two? We're going to give it to number I two. Know. It's a little upsetting in the end of the day, but you know, I think she all actors- She's a beautiful, wonderful lady. No, all- is. no, 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 no. I'm not talking about Sally Field. I'm talking about the-, the Yeah, you are. The condition- You're talking about- you. I don't like First Sally of all, I love Sally Field. She's like a second mother. I, I'm the a- one that did a movie, movie with her. You son of a bee. You That's son not- I was going to go into the experience of being an actor. Oh. In the town of Hollywood. And I Hold said, on, wait sad a minute. at wait times. Minute. You're going to go into the experience of being an actor? Um, we just basically lost everybody. They oh, just you, tuned out. Well, no, no. It's no more appreciation no, for that's you. that's why I'm saying. Go, go, I'm go, explaining it. The, the thing is, when it comes to Hollywood, yeah. I think where that stems from, Hallie, uh, Sally Field going, you love me, you really love me. It was to the industry people. You you want this acceptance from these act, these artists that you really, really admire. Well, from the industry so in which you work. That's, I think, where it was coming from. I 100% but, but agree. Don't you, I it's kind of sad because you want this... This uh, this love from people that just uh. also also the industry is you know x amount of people compared to the population that probably made the movie a success right you know what I mean yes, so right. isn't it more important but not well that, not, we are all I, mean, I, always say, I always say yeah. I always say I always say I don't say, care, I mean, I don't care long, either I, I don't care about awards all day long I I, I want people I, to enjoy I, my I would love movie people to enjoy the movie yeah, yeah. Exactly. And, exactly and 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 honestly there aren't any big awards for comedy. That's always been a problem. Uh, in my opinion, you think? in my opinion, it's got to be musical am, or comedy. Am, you can only get to the Golden Globes basically without. Wait a minute, one. and musical and comedy—they they, they don't that even ain't relate. The same thing. No, yeah. best musical or comedy. It's the weirdest. No, thing. no, no. You it's, can have best musical, best comedy, comedy. best drama. Absolutely, but you absolutely cannot have musical Music or and or comedy. comedy. That's the weirdest thing ever. Well, they, yeah, they also don't have a category for stunts, which also mm. blows my mind. Mm. Blows my because mind because you know how many. Stunt guys have given their lives to, to absolutely true, amazing but epic especially movies. Especially comedy. You think about this. You talk about people that you've worked with. But that's I mean, how many Oscars would Robin Williams have? Or Jim had Carrey. Won? Jim Carrey. It's ridiculous. I mean, Billy Crystal. I'm sorry, I mean, but it is like Steve Martin. Is, I think it's actually Billy harder Zane. to get a genuine. But he laugh. wasn't comedian. Huh? He Billy was Zane. I think it's. I think that it's harder guy. to that get funny. a <laughs> big time funny. You ever seen him in Titanic? Hilarious. <laughs> yeah. Uh, hilarious. You never saw him in The Shadow. Billy Zane was hilarious. He wasn't in the shadow. That was Alec Baldwin. Baldwin. You're thinking of the Phantom. The Phantom. Oh yeah. Oh god. I'm sorry. Forgive me. The Shadow and the Phantom are basically the same film. But anyway, making a sad face. I know. Treat Williams was the bad guy. Oh, I know. Was he the bad guy in Phantom? Yeah. Yeah. Oh man, that's tough, dude. Treat Williams was a friend. Yep, he was. Um, That's tough. Whenever people pass away, when they definitely he was a really good guy. Yeah, Yeah. great guy. I'll say that. Great guy. Wow. Wait a well, minute. that just that just sucked all the energy. Out of you, <laughs> oh my goodness! Well, you're the one that started talking about. I don't even remember what I was talking about. I mean, I brought point. up Billy Zane. Can Billy we run Zane. that tape back? We were. Can you tell me where about, I am? You were talking about. Uh, hmm, what 
what the hell right? are you talking about? And he just threw a complete wrench into the entire conversation. Maybe going to some 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 sad. Made tale. me feel terrible yeah, about it, friends we've lost. We were what well, we were talking Good about. Good friends we've had. Yes. Good we were, friends we've no. lost. Oh God, Jesus. Along the way, Treat Williams. Mm. <laughs> I'm trying I'm to so make. So sorry. I'm trying we, to make a left. Actually, you know what? Situation. We actually need guests. We yeah. need guests. <laughs> Turns out we can't do this. On so our you know own what we should do? No, wait. Let's have uh, some fan questions. I know we have a bunch of call-in questions that have logged and backlogged you know into our system. Yes, and I want to keep saying, please keep sending those questions. Yes, please keep, we're we're getting to them. We are going to do fan appreciation day episodes randomly um, throughout the course of the year and years that we do this. And absolutely. We're lucky enough to be able to do this, and we're doing one today. Yeah. But I will wrap up by saying, absolutely, they should have a comedy section yeah, and a ridiculous. drama section for the Oscars. I don't even so know Oscars why. Oscars get your head out of whatever, and nom- nominate some comedies separately for the comedies. Comedy. Much harder to make people laugh than cry. I always say that. I was going to try too. to say it. Always say that. Much harder. Much harder. You know why? Because drama is much more universal. There are themes that are much more universal. Mm-hmm. Death, right? Mm. Th- these things just are universal. But comedy is very subjective. Death. death. Well, somebody dying prematurely, right? <laughs> life somebody, and death. Somebody, life and death. No, comedy but, but, and tragedy. But, but, but comedy is so... It's, no, it, they're yin and yang. So I don't even know how you don't have... It. They're, comedy they're, is much more it, individualized. At minimum, at minimum... They are completely Man, comparable. He's just laughing over there. Equally <laughs> comparable. He threw a, he threw, he threw a I know, I know. lunatics. <laughs> really? Yes. If you could watch the show, if you are watching the show, all I'll say is yeah. let our outfits speak for ourselves. <laughs> That's what I was going to say. For In terms of lunacy, let's just... I'll just leave it at that. Yeah, Matt yeah. and I are sitting at a table with Big Bird. Yeah, okay? Much. <laughs> it's psychedelic Big Bird. Definitely a something from the Muppet family. Yeah. That's for sure. Hey, hmm. where are we going today? <laughs> Big Bird's going to Studio 54, and he came out looking like this. Um, no. Oh, Big Bird oh. went into Studio 54, and he came out tie-dyed. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. He came out looking like this, <laughs> tie-dyed. Um, it was groovy in there, man. Groovy. Uh, anyway, so your point. We're taking some fan questions today mm-hmm. from our amazing fans who have made this pod possible, mm-hmm. who have made all of our shows possible, Absolutely. and who, who, who make all the future things that we do possible. Absolutely. We love you guys. You guys are unbelievable. We're so grateful and thankful for you. And today, this episode is going to be answering your questions. So without yep. further ado, let's roll our first question. Let's go. Hi, guys. My name is Brandis Harrison. I'm from Atlanta, Georgia. And my question is, what was it like doing those movies on uh, Disney Channel? Um, what uh, Horse Sense and Jumping Ship. What was that like working together on those sets? Was it organic or was it all just scripted? You guys were doing the job. I just want to know, you know, the process that went into working together. You know, I just want to know what y'all experience was like uh, doing those original Disney movies and uh, doing them together as a family. So I just want to know uh, for this is this is for all of you guys, but I want to hear from Joey and Andrew about what it was like to work on Horse Sense. And I want to hear from all of you guys what it was like working on Jumping Ship together, because I love you guys. I love all the work you guys do. It is it is awesome you just do great work and i love to see you guys do more um but i love the podcast i tune in i'm looking forward to tuning in every week thank you for answering my question peace guys love the show well, first of all, Brandis, sending the love back thank you thank you thank you so much that's this is exactly what we're uh, talking about that the way you just described your love of what we've done and this pod is why we are answering these questions today because you guys are the best, all right? Well, and, that's and just the reason we get to it. do what we love to do, and we that's can't it. thank you enough. We're so grateful, and we're so, like Matt said, humbled, yeah. and uh, we're very we're very thankful. So, to answer your question. Yeah, Horse Sense. You guys take that one. Horse Sense, Jumping Ship, all of the movies that we've that we've done together. Well, first of all, I'd like to just say, I think one of the things she was asking, like, is it organic or is it scripted? Right. Look, it is scripted, which yes. is what makes this podcast very unique, is that clearly there's no script, which is why we ramble on like we do, yeah. and uh, we go in down these tangential holes that we don't know where we're going. But if I'm not mistaken, you guys... Div- it was there was a, de- a development of horse sense, right? I was on I was on another project, so I really don't actually know the answer right, to this question. Right. Actually, yes, uh, uh, believe it or not, Mom decided to that, that that there was an opportunity to put together some sort of Disney Channel movie, and this was when okay. Disney Channel, and I have to say it, was making like really great movies. They were interested in making yeah, really decoms, great. Okay quality films. Yep. This was at the beginning of an amazing run of really great quality decom films. Um, and, and, you know, it's not just us saying it, but today they just don't make movies like that anymore. And uh, I, I wanted to just a little comment here. And I was go. just, just, this is a fun fact. The guys that wrote Horse Sense, Chad and, and Carrie, Carrie Hayes, Hayes, later uh, had a lot of success with a franchise called The Conjuring. Wow. 
Wow. It's what? Yes. They wrote the. Conjuring. I knew they f they seemed out of place on this movie. Wow. Well, no, they didn't. They did a great they were job. Always to no, they did a great no, no, job. Horse no, and yeah, they were. And did they? I don't know. Did they write Jumping Ship too? Did they write the sequel? Yes. I don't remember, but I think they yes, did. Yes, they did. But yeah, those did. guys end up become very big. Uh, horror writers. They're brothers. Yeah, they're brothers. They're Chad brothers. and Carrie Hayes. They're great guys. Brothers. That's why mom liked them they so are, much. Right? It's because they really forget, related we were, to... We were coming out of the agency. Yeah, and they really related to the brother the and dynamic. Chad and Carrie gotcha. had been on Give Me a Break. Cool guys. Oh, really they were cool actors. guys. They were also like BMX bike racers. Oh, they're dope oh, dudes. Weird. Really cool guys. Yeah, really cool guys. They looked, right. they looked like we, they could be brothers. Right. Right. Like they were yes, nice dudes. We actually look related. And we were coming out of the agency. We were crossing the street. And m mom had recognized them because they were on Give Me a Break. I was like a little kid. And she was like, oh my gosh, Chad, Donna, blah, 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 blah. What are you guys doing? Oh, we're writing. We're doing, we need to write something together. And that's how it started. Wow, okay. Jumping Ship came out of that. We took it into the Disney Channel and we set it up and yeah. they did it. And it became a massive success. We had Greg Beeman directed it. Remember that? Yeah, you're talking Ooh. about horse sense. Horse sense. Yeah, right. Greg, and Greg jumping Be ship. Oh, horse sense. Sorry, and, and Greg Beeman sense. ended up doing the pilot and created uh, the series Smallville. So he ended and up having also it. Also, yeah. he did uh, what was the one that he just did on the uh, the Disney Channel? Oh, the, that fantastic! Um, uh, yes, uh, oh. look it up, look it up, look it up. Uh, We're uh, live, look it up. But we had an amazing. I mean, know, that was an amazing team. Amazing yeah. team. Yeah. yeah, he actually did an amazing movie that I was a fan of growing up as a little kid. He he directed a movie called License to Drive. Oh, Greg Beeman's awesome. Yes. We had a lot of fun with him. Of yes, the of Secret course. Benedict Society. Yeah, that's what it was. Yes, wow. the yep. Secret Society. But yeah, anyway, so on Disney Plus, it was. It's an amazing show. Mm. They only I think it's just season one. Cool. I loved it. Anyway, but that's how that happened. Yeah. yeah. And then we, look, but a lot of it, look, it is a script. It was a great script. But there's a certain energy because we are brothers and because we, as an actor, you always bring yourself to whatever character you do, even though the ideology of whatever that character is is different than you, you're always bringing a lot of yourself to yeah, it. Yeah, the, the, the lines are never word for word. Right. A lot of times, too, it's you... You um, you get these lines, and as long as, look, as long as the you don't change the trajectory of a scene, as long as the 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 things that you're saying keep moving the story forward, <clears throat> you're allowed as an actor to change a few words here and there to make it comfortable and make it flow out of your mouth because we all don't speak alike. Right, it just doesn't work that that's, way. That's that's right. So, <clears throat> yeah. and I remember now taking it back now. Forward to the sequel, of course, well, to I, Jumping I gotta, Ship. I got to go back. I got to rewind oh, you're a little gonna, bit. You're still going yeah, on horse yeah, sense? Yeah, for okay, sure. Cool. There's, I, I want to get into the conversation just, here, guys. Uh, yeah, just, I know. I think also just like personally for me, from my perspective, since I was such a kid, that my daily routine, uh, I had like two lives that was pretty similar. I would wake up, have breakfast, uh, get ready, and then either go to school or I'd wake up, uh, have breakfast, get ready, and go to set, in which case I would <laughs> go to school and do – four hours of school, and then you'd film, and then in between the rest of the breaks throughout the day, you don't get to take a break as a kid <laughs> actor. you got to go to school. Right. So it was actually, it's actually pretty, it's pretty, there's a lot of responsibility lot and of pressure work. on you, there especially is. with our parents, because there was no slacking with school. No school our, was like paramount. Our mother, right. our, we had private tutors, specific private tutors. Usually that doesn't happen. They'll generalize a set tutor for a, you know, a child actor on a project, but my parents, my mom in particular, Specific well, set she's tutors because so. she's a teacher. Yep. They 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 traveled with us from project to project. If they wouldn't facilitate proper education, we weren't allowed to do we that project. project. We would right, turn yeah. it down. So uh, there was just a lot like, of like uh, what was that one? There was uh, a, honey, I uh, honey, I shrunk, shrunk the kids, kids for you. They did it in Mexico. They didn't yeah. want to bring our set tutors. They you couldn't do it anyway. I so mom didn't yeah. do the franchise. But I really I really appreciate that because honestly, those set tutors. I had a couple. A specific really awesome teachers in school. Uh, Mr. R, fifth grade teacher, was awesome. But my set tutors, honestly, uh, Rocky, obviously, who's still yeah, a big impact in my life. Rocky Glenn, Miriam, Miriam. Jill. It, the list goes on and on and on. Uh, these these people were Jill staples. McKay. Jill McKay were staples I'm in my yeah, life. Jill, um, Miriam, yeah, such we, a sweet, sweet, sweet. We had so a anyway, great crew. So anyway, so yeah. I wake up, I go to set, and then it was really fun too because unlike other projects where you know you get to see actors and you you know you you develop those relationships and the rapport with people uh, over a short period of time. I already had the like I'd get I'd walk on set and see my brother, so it was a lot of fun. It was like it was almost like uh, hanging out. I don't know. It yeah. was just cool. It was, it was a really great the time. Longest time I've ever heard Andy speak. Yeah, yeah it's great. I'm remembering about it. it. No. Oh, and like and like and I remember uh, specifically on Horse Sense. I, I I was playing a lot of double Golden Eye on N64, and <laughs> all I wanted to do was get back into the trailer so, so I could I just could go play, play Golden Eye with my brothers. Like that's literally oh, all great. I wanted to do. Uh, anyway, Golden Eye. There you go. Pierce Brosnan, right? Yeah. Pierce. Yeah. One of the best yeah. games. Well, that that game was revelation. Like that N64 Dude, that was, game so was, was, a, game was, that was a turning point of, of, yeah. vid of vids for sure. I'm a big game. And then we fast forward now, jumping ship. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Um, yeah. 
I was able to be a part of it. So yeah. happy. Well, I was you had able a little cameo in the first one. I did. You remember? I walked Not through same, in a cowboy hat. Yeah, remember? But we yeah. just did that for the for fun. Of, yeah, right, just for fun. Right, right. But then uh, I was lucky to be a part of Jumping Ship. And uh, best part ever, though, is that we shot it where? In Australia. In Australia. Yep. Yep. Really fun. Good day, wow. Mate. I went a oh, month. Yeah. Yeah, Help before me, Matt, Matt went a little method. He decided he actually it wasn't method. He just wanted to get over there. Matt so he went, went out there, there like for a month 30 days. Everybody. He's like, I'm yep. gonna go over and check it out. And Where I stayed a going? month yep. after. You did. He did. And uh Lucky. I just went up and down the uh Queensland. Can you do Australian coast. accent? Oh yeah, mate. Can talk I do about it? walk about in thirty? That's pretty yeah, good. It's no. not bad. It's it's not right. bad mate. You know what's funny? I can really only do it if I'm if I'm doing like Chris Hemsworth. Yeah, because he talks like I can talk like this, see. So, oh, right. Right. It's a little bit of British in yeah, there. He is, but he sounds a little British sometimes. Well, depends yeah. on where you are. That sounds like Jason Statham. No, no, no. no. Yeah, that's it. Doesn't no, no, no. And, Chris, I hear and, British and, and Christian Bale. No, 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 no. Oh, I'm Batman. I know for sure. No, no, that's, no, that's, British. that's British. Oh, yeah, no, right. no, British. You know why? No. It's your O's. Yeah. No. 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 Yeah. Thirty. Yeah. You're saying you're going no, no, no. That's British. Yeah. No. No. I mean, good day. Good day. No, that's British. Yeah, it is. Really? Sounds more British. Wow. Yeah. Good day, well, Jason Mike. Statham is more like, what the hell did you just well, say? The, yeah, that's, that's Jason Statham. This sounds exactly yeah, it sounds the, the same. same. No, no, yeah, it sounds, no. You're still, no. They're all the same. Slight differences. Thing, Joe, do, Joe, do Irish. Go ahead, Joe. I can't, I can't, I can't do it. <laughs> yeah, you got to do the same thing. You got to yeah, do oh, Jason Statham. Yeah. What did you just say? No, 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 Scottish. Scottish. What did you Scan just say? Scandinavian. <laughs> what did you just oh, say? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Yeah, Jason Statham's great. But anyway, I love Australia. I went I, I went all over there. I caught all these incredible reptiles, met all these incredible people. And what I really love about Australia is that they represent... Hold on, wait. They they are cool with animal people, in in particular reptile men is what they call you. They're like, oh, you're a reptile man. That's cool, mate. Because Steve Irwin and all really Is that when you have really dry elbows, really dry knees? They call you reptile man. Yeah, reptile man. Yeah, they they they, they like appreciate it when you say that. Scaly you, skin. Like in America here, you get like, oh, yeah. that's cool. What a freak. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but in Australia, you get like genuine, like, oh, that's that's great, mate. No, that's really cool. I love yeah, you know, yeah. it. Well, reptiles there are regarded as as dogs are here. Like they're the same. Dogs and reptiles are regarded well, they equally. Just, they're what? not one is not an outlier. Not really. No, what not the really. Hell but are you in talking Australia, about? So in Australia, what do you mean? What the hell am I kids are saying? You like, don't see kids walking like lizards no, on leashes all over the place. Let, let me. Let yeah. me. I I dogs and lizards I mean, are the I same. Would. Let me clarify. Look, honey, a puppy. No, a bearded dragon, which are from Australia, by the way. Amazing. Let me clarify, okay, as to my intent with that statement. All right. What I was saying is that that here. There is when when you say lizard versus dog, it's like it's not even in the same universe. Like oh, lizard. Oh, okay. I don't think li I don't, I don't think it, but, well, okay. because they're different the species. Person. But there's a love for reptiles there. There is an appreciation for appreciation, that species. That yeah. yes, I think that is that is more on par with an appreciation for it's, other domesticated animals. It's it's across the board with Australians as a, a young children. Okay, they have they go out and they're taught about the environment. Yeah. The ocean, how yeah. to swim, all these like really I mean, important things isn't we don't do here every, in the U.S. Every Australian so, at the age of seven has to go on a walkabout for three weeks in the wilderness. Andy, and then they, that's, Andy, that's, that's Crocodile that's, Dundee. Dude. That's, that's child that's abuse. That's a Crocodile that's, Dundee. Man. No. It happens. No. Wait, no. And you take you on a name. You guys did it to me. You take on a name. <laughs> <laughs> you take on a name. We forced Andy to walk about. No shoes. Mick Dundee. Yeah. Andy, no, but you know Okay, so no shoes. a little bit of backstory on me. Crocodile Dundee, including the soundtrack. Of I wow. one of my movie. favorite wow. movies wow. ever of wow. all time. Wow. Oh, it hits me. Wow. It gets me. Anyway, so I grew up wow. loving Australia. Wow. What's that thing? He looks like you're. No, I, from my yeah. angle, it looked like you were doing something else. Oh, Creepy God. over there. My God. arm is three feet away from my face. What the hell? What is it doing? Don't compliment yourself. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, <laughs> just kidding. Uh, no, but that uh, movie was. Wow. Oh my gosh. He's a Sheila. Or whatever. I absolutely still sound like Jason Statham. Okay, well, just you it's say all it then. Statham. She's a Sheila. I mate. love Jason Statham. Whatever. Oh, yeah. Roll it over and over, mate. No, roll it over. What the over, hell mate. are you talking Hold about? Hold on. Um, what are you talking roll about? Roll it over. He's doing that thing you were doing. Roll no. it over. No, no, no we're talking about the alligator. Yeah, croc oh, crocodile. Oh, that's right. Crocodile. Crocodile. Roll that's roll right. right. Over and over. Roll you. Oh, take yeah. You down oh, what under, a great scene. To the bottom. And roll you over and over. Oh, that's great. That's Well, hello there, Mr. His friend. The guy in that oh, movie, the I got to hear an Australian accent Mickey, now. Mickey, sir, 
it's quite the guy. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, yeah, that's, that's so guy. good, dude. Yeah, that's he's so, so good. good. Yeah, he's he so he good. was such a good oh, dude. So good. Everybody was great. That movie. Everybody yeah. was so good Even in the that. villains? Oh, oh dude. dude. And, and when they went, when they took him to New York oh. and he's sleeping on the... Remember when the two Dobermans are coming at him? Oh, and he does it to the hey, oh, 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 my so God. So good. What a movie. Anyway, All right. we love Australia. Yeah. We really do. So that was what was really neat. It was a destination yeah. film. Destination film. Yeah, it was so cool. We upped the ante. We were in the water a lot. The mm -hmm. weather was gorgeous. It mm -hmm. was like an amazing... We, we were there for four weeks, dude. Mm -hmm. it was, I mean, oh. just shooting. You were there for three months, as you said, but... It was so yep. much fun Dude. to be able to do that and to have it be received as, uh, you know, people, how, people loved it. So how are they was, not, how is Chris Hemsworth not making Crocodile Dundee? Wow. Oh, my goodness. Paul Andy. Hogan's 83 years old. Andy, you are That's How is that not correct. on tell Like, that would be the coolest. They, no, they have to reboot the they franchise. They have to, dude. Him. Why would they I not mean, do that? I mean, it would be the greatest thing ever. That's Why would the, they not do that? I'm like, goosebumps. You know, oh, here's the deal. I, I, normally, massive, massive, I normally would never. Hit. Hold on. I'm not as naive to We've say. We've already had our legal team copyright exactly. that idea. Well, no, that's the no, point. I'm, I'm not as naive to say an idea that's really good publicly because I would want to hijack it for myself. But that is such a good idea that I would be such a fanboy to see it. All I'm saying is. I'm putting it out there. Wow. Make it because it, it's soft. Dude. Dude. Oh my god. Oh. Okay. So Chris Hemsworth for yes. Crocodile Dundee. Yes. Let's do this. Let's Dude. do this. That would be the coolest thing ever. We just gotta write a script, guys. We gotta write a, a script. And he's got brothers. He understands. He understands. Oh, dude. He understands. I think All he'd right. be down. I'm down. Let's we should do write a script and try to get a hold Let's of Chris. Write it. Let's Chris write Hemsworth. Three. Yes. If you're American listening, guys, hold on. fans of Aussies. Hold on. If you're right listening it, to the Brotherly Love Pod, Chris. Yeah. Reach out. <laughs> exactly. We'll get in touch. Hey, guys. Your people talk to us. Absolutely. Your people. What an amazing idea. Talk to all people. What an amazing we'll idea. We'll figure it out. Oh, Dundee. All right. I could do it. I could do it. He'd be amazing. Give it that, you got to give it that same tone as that first one. Amazing. Too. That, that like real, no, incredible. No, no, oh, no you don't put it into hyperbolic action, none of that stuff. You keep it grounded just like that first oh, one. Oh, my God. That's yeah. the key. Yeah, yeah. Dude, it'd him, be so good. Dude. Oh, that'd be great. You have like the oh my, I can't oh, it'd be great. But the movie, anyway. anyway, if you haven't seen Crocodile Dundee or you haven't seen it in a while, I I highly recommend as we all do go back and watch it. It's amazing. Anyway, getting back to the question. That so it was so beautiful. Yes, yeah, a lot of a lot of we, beautiful time spent together as a family. Yep. Getting to go to work as a family is such a unique experience, and we really loved it and cherished it. And yep. we did, and that's it. And, yep. and I'm so glad that you enjoyed it because that's why we do these things. Yeah, that's it what makes means it nothing all. if you guys don't enjoy it because we can enjoy it because we love each other. We love hanging out with each other but when you enjoy it it makes it all worth it so thank you for the question thank you for watching those movies thank you for listening and watching our podcast we love you much appreciation oh, to you last thing i'll just say is just because i have to is we also in australia got a dog yeah named, named tiffany, tiffany who has after was, the boat after the boat that the we boat got in the movie. Watch jumping ship we, we bought her for, after the boat that she Matt was an was the aussie of. blue healer aussie blue yeah. healer bought her for two bucks out of a little cardboard box and she lived till she was 16 and, and had an amazing time with us sweetest dog was we love her ever so one of the much. most tremendous animals yeah, yeah. Ever. she really was she was nurturing ever. and caring oh, those and dogs. sweet and protective. you remember we had i had a little a little uh a yes, little chihuahua a little chihuahua that got out in the middle of the night that's right. On our property, and we live in an area of California. There's a lot of coyotes. It's true. And I was beside and myself. And there was a storm. Horrible storm. I was beside myself, and we came out. I didn't realize until obviously the next morning. Woke up early. Was like, oh no! I run out the front door, and in our front yard. Yep, it's true. Soaking wet. Yeah. Was Tiffany, and she was laying there, and she looked like very strange. I was like, yeah. Tiffy, are you okay? And she starts to wag her tail, soaking wet. Yep. She gets up, and he's right and underneath. underneath is she the protected Chihuahua. him she from the storm. She protected this little guy all night. <laughs> That's my Tiffany story. Oh, I know. She, I, she was great, man. Just the most incredible animal yeah, she was ever. Great. Wow. Yeah. Stunning. Thank you for the question. Yep. All right. One down. Let's take another question. Let's do it. Let's keep this train going. Next question. Next question. Hey, Joey, Matt, and Andy. My name is Caitlin from New Jersey. I've been a huge fan of yours forever. And I was curious... Since each of you have done so many projects over your career, which of your brother's projects is your favorite of theirs? I've always wondered that. So. Well, first of all, thank you for the yeah, question. question. By the way, from New Jersey, I know, so a little, a little fellow tri-state area, Very absolutely cool. human being. We, we were we're so excited to have you here on the uh, program. Um, wow, that's an interesting question. I know. I, I, have we haven't really been asked that. There's also a lot of them. It's I don't tough. Think so. 
It's I mean, really for tough. me, for me, look, I'll just go off and say this. I think for me, I thoroughly enjoyed the work that you did in Mrs. Doubtfire. I just loved that film, and I thought you were great in it. Uh, in terms of you, Matt, I, I, I also, I loved, I loved the job you did in Hot Chick. I thought you were just so funny in that, Thank you. that dance in that gold uh, little like string mm. bikini, the weenie bikini that you're wearing. Uh, I thought to come out of yourself, be able to pull that off and execute with how ridiculous that outfit was. Well, do you want to know? Do you want to know a really funny thing? I don't think I've. I never. I don't think I've told you guys this. I tried. Had to, a huge erection. No, no, no. <laughs> the entire time okay. I was in that speed. No, wait. What, man? No, you're a bunch of dudes. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. It, it was actually, a strong breeze growing. It actually in it. gets a little deeper than that. Oh boy. I've never told this. How I've much? Deeper? Never told anybody this. I can't <laughs> watch that scene. Not too deep. Oh. Can't watch it at all. Oh. I get all nervous and snap because I got so nervous during with the speedo that they literally I had to go backstage and tape everything into place. Oh, because you didn't want it to pop out. Exactly. Right, right, right. What was now, really looking back one? at it, it looks like I have zero there. Oh, my God. It looks like there is nothing there. Oh, that's so And that's so because funny. I have this duct tape all around, and it's literally pulled, and it's probably in the back somewhere. Oh, my God. And now God. when I look I at it, I'm like, it. I look like I have zero. I look like I have nothing. So wow. I'm embarrassed by it because... I, I wish it now. I wish it, I at least would have had like something, you know. I think you're I the only added. <laughs> I would have yeah. stuffed a sock yeah. in there, right. something. You're right. probably the only person yeah. that would notice that. Yeah, well, honestly, I've but seen I've never, never talked about it. it. Yeah, I mean, honestly, every time I watch it, I'm like, oh, you just God. look like you can't look at that. Yeah. I can't look at that. Thanks. Total, total Thanks, brother Joe. comment. Yeah. I didn't notice anything different. <laughs> Thanks, <laughs> Big brother. Joe. Two points. No, no, but and one and one. No, I finished that one. No, but so so to me, I think it was. I mean. There's a lot of great stuff, but but I really did love I really did love Hot Chick. I enjoyed that, uh, and I really enjoyed Mrs. Doubtfire. I think you were really great in both those. Um, in terms of Andy, I, I tell you, Andy where was, to begin? No, Andy. Oh, the plethora. Yeah, I mean, Andy. Honestly, the career. He was, he was so great. He was so great in. First of all, even in even in he had Andy had so much dynamic as a little as a little kid. There was so much gravitas, and he had it from the time he was little. Little. Mm -hmm. Remember that that somebody sent us an amazing clip about this Entertainment Tonight thing that we did back in 1992. Oh, yeah. Andy was four, mm. okay? And we were, it was, uh, it was I gotta it be was, honest hold on, wait, you, stop. It was a slice of our life, and we were all outside playing basketball. <laughs> they were, like, at our house, yeah. and they were asking, you know, it, me, it was the beginning of, like, the Blossom Explosion. You were the perfect middle brother, you guys as the, you always you were. You guys had because, the perfect because they like, asked, answers. Because they always, and I, and I, for what they I, were I think for. we actually posted it, or it's, somebody, somebody posted, posted it's it out there. And they asked Matt what he thought of, of my success and, and and how he was following in my footsteps, doing it too, and, and and having some of his own successes. And Matt gave the perfect brother answer. He was like, "See, my Joey, he's like, he's like, I, I want to do it because said, my brother." I think yeah, you yeah. said like, "He's my idol" or yeah. something. Like it was, I I almost cried watching it back. I was like, he's the "Best <laughs> little brother ever." <laughs> I didn't even realize you said that, That's awesome. you know, and 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 you were like, and he just does great work, and I just hope I can do that kind of work one day. I'm like, oh my god, I love you, bro. <laughs> and they cut to Andy, <laughs> and if I, you have to go back and watch this if you if you haven't. Andy oh, is sitting there. Gosh. I mind you, at four years old, <laughs> he looks bored as you know what, bored as shit. Oh, he's sitting there with his hand like this, <laughs> and you can tell he's completely annoyed by the question. They're like, so Andy, I mean, being the youngest of the three, like. You know, uh, you know, Matt's followed your older brother. Matt's followed in your oldest brother Joey's footsteps, and so like that. He says, uh, he says, is that why you wanted to do this work? And literally, he doesn't even give them a chance to answer the question. He goes, no. <laughs> Stonewalling. They're like, um, oh no, no, that's not why you wanted. To oh, it's not your brothers. Okay. <laughs> why did you want to? This get is, into the well, entertainment business, you know, and he looks straight faced with this. This is kind of true. This for raspy, four -year -old. grumbly <laughs> yeah. voice, and he goes like this: "Batman." <laughs> <laughs> he says, "Batman." Well, but, I love that. Was my favorite but, movie when I was four years old. Dead serious, and he he was so bored. Batman, with the whole conversation. I really was stunning. I wanted to be Batman. Just a stunning, stunning admission. But, but to my point, he had so much like gravitas for a little kid. Yeah, you know. True. He had this weird depth, like this maturity about him. And he ever, always did from the time he was a little kid. Yeah. Um, mm. So I would say his that work. That entertainment tonight is his best work. <laughs> that was his best work. <laughs> what? Joe, he was just being me. I was four. <laughs> yeah, you got a long way to go, pal. No, uh, no. But uh, I, he was he was so good. He was oh, so good God. in a movie you guys did together called Family Tree. That was oh. fun. Robert Forrester. He was so All good right. in that. And he was also great uh, in a movie called White Man's Burden. 
Yeah. That was fun. He was, I mean, That's great fun. performances. Right. You know what's funny is I was going to say I really love, and this is, I love, all, like, there's a ton of stuff that you guys done, and, and, and honestly, I can't, I couldn't choose one thing because there's a, so there's a, so, Bean. Many, so many years. Bean. Bean. The, other me, the other me. The other, well, those, yeah. the, those decom movies. I love that. Andy crushed. That's oh, my The Andy. other me love, and going to the mat. Yeah. Andy amazing. Yeah. Amazing. Amazing Change? performances. Like, yeah. Yeah, thanks, far um, beyond. Yeah, like, they I really weren't, that was it. not like, you know, and it's become more of late, but you know, like the Disney Channel kid acting, like, yeah, which yeah. is, you know, mm. whatever it is, but Andy was like on a whole different level. Andy was like, I want to go somewhere, but I, Andy was like, Andy was like bringing like young, like Leo stuff, you know, like he was, he was a, he, he, that's ridiculous. He handed Thanks, in dudes. tremendous performances right. in the I learned of everything I Disney knew from you guys. Oh, thank Picked you. Picked it all up from the, oh, not girls. Batman. Well, I love that. And Batman. Batman. And Batman. <laughs> and Batman. Anyway, you were saying this is a, this is a deep, deep track, but a deep dive. Chains of Gold for Joe. Mm. Oh. It was actually like a, I remember like, that movie was Chains really good. Of gold. That actually movie was one of the best experiences of my life. Really good that movie. was super I cool. I met Andy. John Travolta. Yeah. yeah. Right? Mom was a huge Benjamin fan of Benjamin Bratt was it? Benjamin I mean, it was really Bratt. Good. Yeah, to be honest, uh, Hector Elizondo. I Elizondo. really like that movie. No, the movie and there's Mary a Lou stunt. Henner. There's yeah. a stunt in that movie of John Travolta oh, yeah. sliding down this ho- the Dude. side of a hotel, and it was like and one scene. You yeah, could tell the back practical stunt, and it, I mean, it was it was one That's shot. I watched was, that stunt it was, live. It was so it was good. unbelievable. It was a lot. Wow. Yeah, it was yeah. Really You know who directed good. that? Rod Holcomb. Ahead of its time. It, it really was ahead of its time. The story is actually relevant today too. It's actually it was a very good movie. John was. Excellent. excellent. Yeah, Benjamin really Brack excellent. was a twenty-five-year-old up-and-comer. He was he was the bad guy. He, yeah, was, he was so great. badass. Uh, Rod Holcomb directed that. Who went on to direct the ER pilot mm. and a lot of other great stuff. Wow. But he directed the pilot for wow. ER. Rod Holcomb. So anyway, that was an amazing movie. Yeah. John made that twelve weeks in Miami, Florida, some Ugh. of the best. That was the best. So cool. One of the best shooting experiences of my life. Yeah. John was and still to this day is a dear friend of ours, but could not have been. He was the most gracious kind, amazing yeah. human being ever. Yeah. And we ended up going on so many adventures as a family with yeah. John. That yeah. meeting, that was the next 15 years of our life. It yeah. was. It was. It was. It's incredible. It was, just, it was just an amazing, unbelievable experience. Uh, amazing, yeah. I appreciate that. That was, I, I actually, it was a really good part for me. Mm-hmm. And, uh, it was. and it was I was cool. only 12 and a half years old. Uh, Great movie. You look so much older than 12. I know. Yeah, yeah. You want to hear something crazy? What? We were the same age. When I was in Mrs. Doubtfire, you, you were in Chains of Gold. Hey, you looked oh, 18. Yeah. You looked mm-hmm. Matt looked five 13. years older than me. Well, I think I, I just kind of aged quick. You did. And then Very I, quick. I, I didn't age a lot, and hopefully. You just I mean, I'm aging now, but I didn't age a lot, you know, no, after true. that for a while. But I, I looked older, and then when I was kind of 18, I looked the same. And when I was 22, yeah. I looked the same. So yeah. rental. I really so, love oh, it. Oh, I love that it's a movie. great movie, dude. Thanks, Good man. bring up, man. Another movie. great From summer Matt, Plane, trains, and automobiles. Oh, my God. Yeah. Wow. Wow, crazy, that was an amazing weird, movie. Like childhood Dude, We got to work with so many cool oh, people. Oh my god. Man. I know. Yeah, I mean, very lucky. Summer Rental was John Candy and Carl Reiner directed that movie and Rip amazing. Torn was in that oh, movie. Man. Richard Crenna was in that movie. These are all, by the way, even before my time, but yeah, looking yeah. back, they legends. were legends. Yeah. Legends. Truly legends. Yeah. yeah. And Definitely. Matt, obviously, John yeah. Candy, Steve Martin, yeah. Chris Columbus directed that yeah, movie. Yeah. Yeah. Went on to direct the what the Home Alone movies He's and Harry Potter. Harry Potter. Yeah. I mean Endless. Oh my gosh. Wow. Just incredible stuff. No, we had Thank you. That was a, that's that's amazing. Fun, had, down, fun, yeah. fun walk down memory yeah. lane. Yeah. So, but again, I, and I apologize for not giving more specifics on favorites. But those are yeah, some, that's kind of what it is. is to it. I, but there's so much great stuff. I mean, honestly, and what is really I really love, and I, I feel maybe it's cheesy of me to say, but we recently did a Chris, Christmas movie together mm. called uh, Mistletoe Mix Up. That was on Amazon, and we did a sequel that'll be out this Christmas, Mistletoe Mix-Up 2. That was one of the and most fun things We just had so much guys. fun because it was the first time really that we were back on, like, really in the trenches together as a team, as adults. Yeah. Really just with a new kind of defined understanding of, of what we wanted and what we were going for. And it was just really cool. And We let I think all of the, our hair down, I yeah, think. Yeah, it, like really it was the first like, of many. It was the first kind of embarking on this new journey, all yeah. as adults, all as filmmakers together, and it was really, I don't know, I, I'm, I'm excited for everybody to see the sequel. Yeah, yeah. me too. Me too. Me too. It'll be me out too. Christmas. Yes, yeah. it will. It'll be on out Amazon. Christmas on Amazon, Mr. Mix Up 2. So check it out. Yes, check it so out. All right. have, one I, more question? Yeah, I think we got time for one more question. Cool, right. let's one do more. it. One should we more. take one more, guys? Let's do yep. one more. And, and we thank you for that last one. Yes. Really appreciate it. And, yes. and then if, we, if your questions don't make it on this episode, there'll be future yes, episodes. We're, we're doing it. We're doing appreciation, questions, all that stuff. So, yeah, let's keep going. Without further ado, let's roll the next one. Hello, my name's Chloe and I'm listening in all the way in Gibraltar. Firstly, I just want to say I'm such a huge fan. Uh, All three of you formed such a massive part uh, of my childhood, watching things like 
Blossom, uh, Brotherly Love, Mrs. Doubtfire, Boy Meets World. This, I mean, literally made my childhood. So thank you for bringing so much joy and for continuing to bring joy to so many people. You guys are the best. So I had to get out of the way. Now my question. So I would love to know um, about, you know, some funny stories. Did you guys ever like uh, play pranks on each other on set? Uh, what did you do? You must have played some pretty hysterical pranks. Uh, and also stories about things that went wrong during filming. Did you make each other laugh? Those moments where you just fall apart laughing hysterically. I want to hear about those moments. Oh, and also, are you ever going to come across the pond to the UK, Europe, anything? Would love to know. Chloe, thank, thank you so much for the question. Thank you so yeah, much, Chloe. You. First of all, across the pond. We'd love to. We'd love to go. Fans across the pond. We would love to go. I... I've been over there, uh, and uh, and boy, we would absolutely love to get yeah. back. I absolutely love, I love it over there. It's. Uh, Can you go on? T I remember when I, I was a kid, you went on tour there. I took you with, and me. I was there as yes. like a little boy, and we toured all yeah. throughout the UK. Nothing, nothing, my love can't fix. Yeah. Days. Nothing, my love can't fix for you, baby. Gotcha. And we we oh. eat those little those little. We got ourselves sick off we some did. sort of. We did. We were staying in a hotel something. during back in these days. We took a road trip to all these radio stations. Mm. But when you go outside of you know like uh, London, and you you. you the only way to get to a lot of them is by van, yeah. right? You know, so and we traveled all throughout the countryside going to these. Well, radio it doesn't stations. make sense to fly because you, they can't. They, we, we have went, to arc the right. jet. We like went to Liverpool. Yeah. We went to Dublin. It was crazy. And Andy was with me, and we watched. We had a van with a VCR in it, okay? Oh my and we watched Lethal Weapon. Oh my gosh! Over and oh over and over again. Over Remember that? Over, yeah. we I was crushed working. It. I you were that. working. You were working. And we had these in the hotel. We we were staying at. They had these little like sort of like um. Like to like tahini rice yeah. crackers, yeah. and they were so good. But Andy and I OD'd we, on them. It was bad. <laughs> we ate so many. We, we actually sick. got sick. We yeah. started oh, really? throwing up in the yeah. trip. Yeah. Oh, both of us. Yeah. We were throwing up together, yeah. trying to watch *Lethal oh. Weapon*, and we were in a van. In a van. Oh, oh. Yeah, it, was rough. It, was oh rough. it was brutal. But so many great memories. We absolutely uh, will. Uh, We'll get back over there. Definitely. Yeah, yeah for yeah. sure. As a matter of fact, there's been a lot of talk about doing like a tour, yep. taking the Broly Love be podcast. So fun. Uh, and I going... still I still drink tea at 3 p.m. pretty oh, much. Oh, yeah. yeah. By the way, yeah. British style with cream. Absolutely. Yeah. We do it. It's we do true. it because we're half English and Irish. Anyway, that is that is first. We will definitely get over there. We we will hopefully be doing a Broly Love podcast tour, and we're going to take it international as well. We're definitely doing one in the U.S., but I think we're going to go international too. Uh, that is part of the plan. So stay tuned for that. Anecdotes. Funny things. Yeah, I wanted to tell, tell you this one. Do um, it. So back in the day on the sitcom set, there was this funny prank to play on people when it comes to clothespins. Oh yes, that's oh, yeah. right. Now this is an old. This is old school. Clo literally clothespins. The old also wooden clothespins known as when C somebody would turn around. C forty sevens. Yes, that's what someone would turn around. Industry name. You would sneak up behind them and try to clip one on the end of their shirt and give a little context. They came from. Over the lights before, and they still use them today because a lot of DPs still love the foil. Black mm -hmm. wrap or duvetine right. or, or so gels. What, so what they did was gels over the lights. So instead of all these LEDs, we could just turn it blue. Yeah. You, would, you would put a you blue gel, gel over the light to give a blue effect or yellow or red or whatever color. Some of the great DPs still use it because it's just, you can't replace it with an LED light. It still looks better, in my opinion, with a gel. You would hold them on because lights would get very hot. Mm -hmm. So you'd have to use a material that didn't conduct a lot of heat, but also wouldn't melt. So it wasn't metal, it wasn't plastic. Wood was your option. Yep. So the old-fashioned wooden clothespins, there were thousands of them around a the set. So C-47. Go ahead. Also known as a C-47. Yeah, okay. so, so you would walk up when somebody wasn't looking, and you would clip it to the back of their shirt, or it got pretty creative. I mean, clipping them to the point where... Sometimes you'd walk yeah, around with like tails and 30, 50. You'd see how many clips. you could get on somebody before Some they realized. We got into signs where we would yeah, write but, notes and people would be like, oh, yeah. And every, every time you'd we walk, we would always past, do it to each people other. People would be laughing. And anyway, so that was a funny prank that got out of hand. Yes. Yeah, oh, we would point. do it. Yeah. Oh, we ruined shots. Oh, yeah. You would walk on and I'd, I'd be covered time in to take them all off. <laughs> be like, cut. We can't. Yeah. Oh, who's the wise yeah, guy? Yeah, yeah. yeah, who's the wise? We had guy. a joke. We had a joke. Oh, that's right. Yeah, we you had a clip joke. it here. Right. We had a joke. <laughs> you'd clip it right here. But the joke was that you'd walk up to somebody else and they'd be like, "Hey, you gotta." Matt, you'd be like, what? What is it? What is it? What? what is it? The, the, and you take it up. Like, All right. Who's the wise guy? Yeah, somebody, <laughs> that was the joke. Who did it? Somebody, who was, it right? somebody was able to actually <laughs> yeah. was able to put sneak it right down. That was the joke. And it? you can actually use this little piece of skin. Yeah, to And they clip don't it. close that that with, with a lot no, of veracity, right? No. So you can actually, for a while, keep it right here. 
because there's a little bit of skin if you pull mm -hmm. it off, and you can actually keep it there for, for uh, long enough to get to somebody else and have yeah. them go. Or you put it on your eye, brow, eyebrow, ear. Stuff. Anyway, yeah. you're right. I forgot about that. Was that was a funny prank that used to go around. So there were always pranks. I that's remember, I'm not a big bug guy. I don't love oh, bugs. Yes, that's true. Matt and Andy would always be leaving fake bugs. That's true. So I get into my dressing room because we didn't have the same dressing rooms, right? We had a little bit of separation in church and state. We would always be together. We had our own rooms to go in. And sure enough, I would go to sit down on my my couch and there would be, whether it was a roach or a spider, it's these true. guys were constantly getting me with that stuff. Very true. Uh, they would they would put fake poop in my toilet. Oh, yes. That's that? right. Yes. <laughs> Remember the barf pads? Yes. Oh, those are good. Oh, my God. The fake, they look like vomit, but they would, you could actually, they were yeah. cut out. So you could put them like yeah. under a toilet you could. or against something and you come in and you'd be like, oh, because they had like, there was something that would drip yes. too. Yes. Oh, man. Yes. That was great. Good All that stuff. kind of stuff. More, more recently, I like, uh, my new thing is I, I'll buy fake animal skeletons. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Because Matt's a big animal guy. <laughs> and I'll put them <laughs> all he over the yard. He puts a skeleton of, the of a chameleon in my chameleon cage. So when I go out there, I think not only has my chameleon died, but it's been skinned to the bone. One morning... One morning we're all hanging it's out. Funny, real One funny. One morning y'all goes out to check He's on these things. Neglecting them so <laughs> long that they turn to bone. First off, hold on. I need you to rewind that statement. You would statement. never, no, of course no, you wouldn't neglect it. it. It's a prank. But I remember the first morning you saw it's it, so you ran funny. outside. All we heard was, no, 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 no. <laughs> Something skinned it alive. Remember the old like like uh, cartoons yeah. that would go like it's the turkey bone, like, well, no, yeah. it's, it's, or the fish. It's Remember, obviously like, it, it, it would just be the, the full fish bone. It's an obvious yeah. joke because Skeleton. he goes out there and spends hours with his lizards hours. every morning. So there's no yeah. way one would, let alone die, and then you know. Are you kidding? He turn into he bone. Literally, he literally raises these things in captivity. Hatches. He has. He loves them. I mean, even even up on our Patreon, there's yeah. footage that yeah. we put up there of these eggs that are like, so like the Cuban incubating. Yeah, yeah so Cuban iguana. The, the Cuban iguana laid eggs. eggs. De decomposed carcasses are yeah. purely jokes. Anyway, the point but they're is funny because it's like I want to get a big monk, like a big ape one, oh my and gosh. put it in one of the so like, funny. Yeah, so funny. Yeah, anyway, that's so funny. Anyway, I find it so we're, the point is uh, we're always playing pranks yeah, on each other. The joking never stops, and I nope. hope it never does, because that's what keeps us going, is True. being able to laugh. Um, I feel like, especially now more than ever, like laughter and comedy is what we do to solve pretty much everything, mm -hmm. even disagreements that we may have. We always crack a joke to break the ice. We always try to not take everything too seriously. It's true. When we you guys get like angry at me, I just laugh right in your face. Me too. Likewise. <laughs> we don't take each other seriously. We don't respect each other. No, uh, we do. No, but it's uh, that's really what it's all about for us. So we've had we've been so blessed to have years and years of doing it. And now as grown men, it's really funny to continue to do it and work it together like we are again. And uh, like we say all the time, none of it's possible without... Just yep. amazing people like yourself that enjoy what we do and make it possible. So thank you so much from across the pond. Thank you. Yeah. We will get over there soon one day. I promise. Keep listening. Yes. Keep listening. We Everybody appreciate keep you. Listening. Yes. Listen, there are so many more questions, but to answer these questions the right way, we have to take some time to do it. I agree. So we can't uh, just rapid fire them through in, in an episode. We're talking about maybe doing like five to 10 and we yeah. got three. We got three. Yes. But well, that's just, there's more and more to there's come. There's more and more, more to come. come. We're going to do it again. Fan appreciation day will be upon us uh, yep. in another episode sooner than, uh, sooner than we can expect. I so stay that. tuned if you yes. submitted stay a question. Stay tuned, yeah. Keep yes. your questions coming. And keep them coming. And uh, we look forward to it. they're lining up and our team is putting them all together and we're going to answer them and knock them down and we can't wait. Uh, we love you guys so much. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you so much for Thanks making for this possible. Us. Pod to pod, baby. Pod to pod. We're going to be back from the table next Woo! week. That's right. We'll be here we on will be Friday. Here. Yes. And hopefully so will you. We That's love you right. guys. Love you guys. Thank you. Bye. See you later. Hey guys, the Lawrence Brothers here to thank you for tuning in and watching this episode of the Brotherly Love Podcast. That's right, and to watch clips from this pod, go to the Podco YouTube channel at the link in the description. And for exclusive weekly bonus content, join our Patreon now. The link is also in the description. And we will see you guys next week. Next week. Next week.